Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from Cure Auto Poster. Today we're going to show you how to operate your back page Auto Poster so that you can start posting from day one. First, we're going to show you how to retrieve your ID. Your software ID will be placed in in your in an email that you're going to send to the guys at Cure Auto Poster for you to get your registration code. So what you do is you click on View, click on Software ID. And there it is. That's your software ID right here. What you do is you click on yes. And now your software ID is in your clipboard. What you do now is you're going to email it to the guys at Curator Poster by just simply pasting your ID in your email right here. Okay. So now to register your ID, what you're going to do, you will then go back to your software and then go to help. Click on help. Click on unlock cute back page poster and enter your code right here. You're going to enter your code right here, the code to unlock the software and make it uh, fully functional. Now, if you're going to be using the auto captcha system. What you do is you buy the, 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 cre the credits from Curato Poster and you will go here where it says tools and captcha service. You're gonna enter your. You're gonna load your account. This one has 244 credits already, and they're gonna. The guys at Curator Poster will show. Will send you a code similar to this one here, and you're gonna copy the code. And what you're gonna do is you're going. You're going to load those credits to your account. Load your credits right here, and then you're gonna enter the code by simply pasting it right here. When you click on paste. This number here, the 244 on the top, is going to change by simply pressing OK right here. Now you have 744 credits. OK, now uh, you can choose either use service or connect via web or both. Depending on the uh, system that you have at home or the DSL that you're using, some systems work with this checked or the majority will work with the use service option checked. Now you will close this window here. You're ready to start running your uh, posting your ads. Oh, I forgot. Here you're going to enter your login details for your back page account in this format. First goes your email and then your password. You have the information right here too. You can read this information if you missed the details from this uh, from this video now we're gonna create the first um, your first ad what you do is you click on new ad you're gonna click on new ad twice that was number one and cl click on new again number two now here we have the ad in um, in a notepad format this is the HTML code this is the regular text. These are the different headings you can have. In the current version, you can have as many headings as you wish. And these headings will rotate as you post the same ad over and over and over. So let's start by copying the headings to your new ads. What you do is you copy. And now you go and go back to your ad manager and click on headlines. You're going to paste your headings right here there they are you can also enter um, your headings here manually if you wish for now we're just going to do it this way click on close now you need to choose to either do the html option or the text the regular text option let's start with the regular text option i'm going to copy this and go back to the software and instead of source, you, you're going to click on design. And what you're going to do is just going to paste your ad. There it is. This is your ad right here. Now, if you wanted to do your source instead, which is your HTML, what you do is you copy the HTML code and go to the software. And instead of design, you're going to click on source. You need to remove the current source that's there and then just paste your new one. 
now this doesn't this doesn't look like your ad does it what you do is you click on design there it is that's the ad right there that's the HTML code now we need to before you click on save you need to name your ad if you don't put a name here the system is not going to save it so I'm going to copy the first heading that's a that's a good way to remember which ad it is and I'm gonna paste it right here okay there it is now you go to your options and choose the options that you decide for your ad uh, usually I suggest to put do not show links to my other postings and probably either hide or show my email address that's up to you and you can complete this other entries here as you wish uh, some entries require the telephone number like the auto uh, sales I believe okay so let's just close here that will save the information and now click on save again you can see on this window right here that the ad has been saved now we close remember the name of the ad is this system will make you money so now you close this window let's pretend that we wanted to post this ad you look for the ad on your list okay remember it was this system will make you money so you choose this ad by either clicking on this arrow here or let me remove it double click on the actual ad when you double click on the actual ad it will move it to the right it's right here and now it's ready to be posted but you need to first click on next now you're going to choose your category and you're gonna click next again now you're gonna enter the series that you want to post this ad on uh, you can simply highlight everything here and click here you can do do it one by one you see this and you can also do this and just uh, post you know moving to the right now if you want to remove any of the cities on the right all you do is click on the actual city and right click and remove you can also remove in batches or groups you can remove the whole thing remove all of the uh, cities from your uh, screen from you the screen that shows the cities that have been suggested or uh, chosen to place the ad now the next option will be to post the ad I'm not gonna do that because this is not a valid account what I have right here but all you do is click on post ads and the system the back page system will start posting your ad let me go back and I'm gonna show you how to delete an ad from your uh, system from your uh, back page software what you do is you go to home okay this is uh, I'm gonna remove this from here so let's say I wanted to remove one of these ads here what you go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and click new ad and this is how you're going to edit your ads as well uh, this is a this is a good looking ad right here and this ad changes see how it changes uh, the image uh, but okay so we're gonna show I'm gonna show you how to delete your ads so you click on this arrow head arrow down here you can arrow down and this is how you're gonna choose your ads for editing as well so let's say we wanted to edit this ad this is how you do it you open the ad make your changes and click on save again let's say I wanted to remove uh, I wanted to change this, this to information okay now I will save it the, uh, the change has been recorded so now this has been saved uh, with the new version but I wanted to show you how to delete it so let's start again okay you're gonna click on new ad you're going to arrow down from here and choose the ad that you want to delete so let's say I want to delete this ad here I'm gonna click on it and click on delete that will delete and remove the ad from the database I'm gonna click on delete okay, now you will arrow down the ad is no longer there okay so this is how you will delete your ads uh, let me close this 
uh, and uh, please remember to send us a send us an email if you have any further questions or if you want to add a, another feature to or suggest another feature to the program thank you very much for watching see you next time